everyone. Thank you so much for joining me again. I am here to sit down and pre-plan my next week in my brand new EC Daily Duo, my A5 ring planner. I don't know all the words for it, but um, I'm getting a jump start on it. So if you saw my last plan with me video, um, you saw me kind of jump into it. So I am going to go ahead and continue. Um, I am using just inserts that were from um, like the second half of, of 2022. They were sent to me in error. They're sending me some more, but um, so anyways, that's why I'm using just some random sheets. I'm going to cover them with stickers anyway, so it wasn't that big a deal. I've got some pre-planning happening already, but I'm going to use this kit. It is one of the new ones that I have listed in my shop. It is my AMB008 sticker kit. So I'll kind of flip through the sheets. So uh, as always, my kits are available as a full set or you can purchase each sheet separately. So here is page one, sheet one. It's got the date covers, the dots or the squares. And then I added some flags here. Page two or sheet two has the calendar covers or they're meant to fit this space that's up here. We've got some washi strips and then just some individual check boxes. Here we have half hour boxes, one hour boxes, another half hour, a two hour, and then this box fits the bottom section of the of the sheet, just that empty box there. And then on this sheet three, I have some time arrows or duration arrows. Sheet four, sheet five are pretty much identical, just with different patterns and different colors, but they both contain the large boxes that fit at the bottom, half hour, one hour, and two hour boxes with some cut icons. And then sheet six has two more to make seven in total, and then all um, tons of scripts on there that you can use. So I am going to get started. This is gonna be the week that starts Monday the 24th, and I think it goes through Sunday the, is it the 30th or 31st? I don't remember. So I'll get to it at that some point. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the foundation of each and every day as I normally do, fast forward, because this part just takes a long time. And then we'll kind of get into the day-by-day -day planning. foundation down and I'm ready to get started. I had done some little pre-planning. I have these little post-it notes that are now available in my shop and they are the cutest things ever. This lit my little uh, dragon guy here um, has a little coffee cup that says love to plan and I made it checklist style so that you can you know add it to the list use it however you want to the paper is so nice to write on the sticky is like amazing it's actual post-it brand so it's a nice nice adhesive but it doesn't leave any residue on your paper it doesn't curl up it doesn't do any of that stuff that other um, sticky notes that I've used in the past have you have done where you have, they just like, they stay curled. I hate that. So anyways, they lay nice and flat and I am so happy. So again, I have just this one design. It's limited quantities right now, but um, I have more coming. So look for new designs and different things like that. So I love those. Okay, Monday is the start of our last week of school. Whew, what a school year it has been both as a teacher and as a parent. My daughter is finishing her junior year of high school. Um, it's, it's just, it's been, it's been a thing. It's been tough. But I will say that as um, my daughter, as a student, she actually excelled in it. And I think part of it was because 
she was able to get things done as she needed to. Um, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing because I kind of feel, this is my own personal opinion, even as a parent, I mean, her teachers were very, very lenient and I understand why they were. There, are, there were some situations where students were having a really hard time getting logged in. They had, um, you know, connectivity issues, um, home issues, different things like that. So I understand the need, the necessity for teachers to be lenient. However, I kind of feel that things got really, really lax. And so my daughter, who again is a great student, she, however, took, I'm gonna be honest, took advantage of it some, at some times where, you know, teachers were extending due dates, like no worries if it's, if it's done late, it's not gonna be a big deal. And she did lots of things late because she was given that opportunity to do turn stuff in late. And again, I understand that it was an option to, you know, to be sensitive to the fact that, uh, that some students were having a really hard time distance learning. But on the other hand, um, not everything needed to be done late. <laughs> and she did many things, turned them in late because because she could. Um, so that frustrated me as a parent, as a teacher, like, oh, just get it done. Why are you waiting? But again, she's a teenager. So if you're given the opportunity to turn it in whenever, she was gonna turn it in whenever. So, but she did it. I'm not gonna complain a whole lot more because she did the work she was supposed to do and got it done correctly, so. It is what it is. So I'm going through my little pre-plan over here and I wrote down the tests that Emma has to take on that day. Um, it's her semester exams, so she only has half a day of work because it's first period and then test and then her seventh period test and then she's done in the middle of the day. So um, I just have that just so I can keep track of it. And then at 10 a.m., I have a meeting. I think I still have this meeting scheduled. It's still on my calendar for work. It's my admin strategist meeting. So I'll mark that in. And then at 11, I need to go and pick up Victoria. I'll just use a... Um, 30 minute box here to mark pick up Victoria. She gets out of school at 1130. So I gotta leave by, at 11. And it's right at the start of my lunch time so I'm good to go. Um, and then we'll have to take her back to work at five. Let's see. Me, what do I want to mark that? Maybe I'll just use, no, I'll just use a half. I'll use it. I'll use this one to mark her at five. Victoria goes into work. And then we pick her up in the evening. But sometimes she's scheduled to get out at nine, but sometimes she gets out a little bit earlier. So I'm just gonna leave it just like that. And then on Mondays, I pay my bills. I don't know if I have, yeah. I'll just do this bill due sticker. And I just like to pay every Monday towards my credit cards that I used, you know, the amounts that I used the previous week. So two credit cards and then our um, treadmill. That treadmill we got like interest free, blah, 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 whatever. So I just want just gonna get it done, paid off. Um, so that is for sure what I do on Monday. 
I know my husband has an appointment to get the tires fixed or checked, so I gotta see what time that is. I know it's somewhere here after work, but I think that's all I've got going on for Monday. So I'm gonna move on to Tuesday now. Right. I don't have any specific appointments or anything on my calendar for Tuesday, except I gotta do my AM routine and my PM routine. Um, Victoria has school, but she is going to Uber or rideshare, whatever it, she's gonna use. So, um, speaking of, I came home from North Carolina. I was at a meetup um, with the TPC, the Planners Collaborative. If you are not a member of their Facebook group, of that Facebook group, I would highly encourage you to join. It is probably the best planner group on Facebook right now. It is filled with fun, encouraging, motivating, just all around good people. It's like good people club is what it is. And anyways, there was a meetup in uh, North Carolina and I just got home from it. I'm trying to write and talk at the same time. Not always working. And um, the reason I brought it up was because it just made me think when I said Uber. Um, so I didn't have a vehicle. I had to Uber. When I got to, when I landed, I went to order an Uber from the airport to take me to the hotel. And the hotel was only, um, you know, according to the map, only 15 minutes away. So I pulled Uber up on my app. Oh wait, first of all, when I left on Friday morning from, I went to get an Uber from my house to the airport here in Las Vegas, no cars available. I tried again a little bit later, no cars available. There were no cars. So I had to take a lift, which is totally fine. Um, but I just, I had always used Uber. And um, so I, took a lift, and then when I got to um, North Carolina, finally, because it was a really long day of travel, um, I, again, I went to my Uber app to take a Uber from that airport in Raleigh to the hotel, which again was about 15 minutes away, and that Uber ride was gonna cost me $43. I'm like, uh, what? $43? I don't think so. So I then switched on over to Lyft, my Lyft app, to see how much that was going to cost. I'm like, I mean, I guess if it's $43, it's $43. What am I going to do? I got to pay it. How else am I going to get there? No, I went on to Lyft and it was only $23. I mean, I say only, it's still a lot of money, but in comparison to $43, $23 is way better. So I, um, I did that and my daughter had been saying when she started having to Uber herself in the morning to work or to school that she was having a really hard time with um, getting Ubers that they were just no no cars available and I was like what that is just so bizarre I know I have a payday yes and sure enough it was I that same situation I couldn't get an Uber and then when I finally was able to in Raleigh, they were like crazy expensive. So Lyft was the way to go. But I got to tell you, my Lyft driver that I had here in Vegas, uh, it was, what time was it? It was like 4.30 in the morning when I had to get my, you know, my ride. And this guy was like, I don't know. He was talking to me about crazy stuff. I'm like, uh, can you just drive me to, <laughs> just get me to the airport. I don't need to have conversation. So talk about just random inappropriate conversation. Um, I, I usually leave a tip, but this time I, di I didn't. I didn't, I felt so bizarre. Like he wasn't making any sort of weird remarks to me or about me or anything like that. It was just, in general, just conversation that you shouldn't be having in a professional 
type of situation, you know? I mean, I don't know. It was kind of bizarre. Anyways, Tuesday is my payday. It is also trash day. I have nothing to write down as of right now on my to-do list. I have no appointments other than work, obviously. And then I wrote down Emma's two class periods for her final exam. So I'm going to move on to Wednesday. So the 26th is the last day of school for students. Uh, I will still do my, my usual with my AM routine. We still have to do our, fi our, our um, Emoka check-ins. I believe I'm pretty sure I mean up until the last day I guess we've been really fortunate we didn't have any situations of um, like incidences of students getting sick um, we didn't have any you know from COVID from being face to face anything like that so we we made out really really good there were a couple of situations of adults um, but Again, I don't think that they were in contact with anybody at school because we didn't have any teachers like missing days, which was really good. So we did a good job keeping things clean, keeping, um, you know, social distancing the kids, parents keeping their kids home if they were not feeling well, just different things like that. So it was good and I'm glad that is all how it worked out. Okay, so I'm going to write down here. This is an also a very important day for my little Winnie Pooh. Well, not this day, the following day, I guess. So Emma's third period class and fifth period class finals. Okay, I'm going to mark here that we are going to start collecting student Chromebooks at 9, uh, 9 a.m. student Chromebook collection. My handwriting is so sloppy right now. I'm just like trying to go super fast and I should really slow down. Okay, so we're starting to collect their Chromebooks and now right down here, and I'm gonna write this on a big one hour box too, just to kind of, ooh, my PM. Okay, I'll do it like this. Victoria doesn't work on Wednesday, so I'm just going to mark here so that I can still put my PM. Um, and I'm going to write uh, mm, how do I write it? So Winnie cannot eat after 10 p.m. So why is my hand all scratchy? Okay, let's see. I was playing with the dogs, that's why. Winnie no eating after 10 p.m. Winnie is getting spayed. Is that the right one? Our, oh, she's female. I think female dogs are spayed. Well, she's getting fixed tomorrow. So, I mean, not tomorrow, the following day on Thursday. So she cannot have anything to eat. My poor little baby girl. Okay, so that is my Wednesday as of right now. I feel like there's so much that I'm missing that I can't keep things straight. But that is Wednesday. So let's move on to Thursday. So I put some lotion on my hands so you wouldn't have to see them all gross and scratchy. Um, okay, so Thursday is my official last day of work. But it is um, also Winnie's surgery day. So... Thursday the 27th, traditionally the, the, the last day for teachers is when they are checking out of their classrooms, turning in their keys, cleaning up their classrooms, making sure everything is, you know, set off to the side so that the custodians can um, 
clean and you know do the carpets do all the stuff that they need to do over the summer but this year is going to be a little different well first of all I don't have a classroom to clean so I don't have I typically don't worry about any of that but this summer um, we are gonna run a summer program at our school so we don't have to clean up like we normally do because really work and school are going to just continue for us so I will ouch okay so let me just mark this so I I don't know if we still have to do this emoka. I'm gonna write it down because it is technically still a work day and then my medicine that I take in the morning 8 a.m. is Winnie's surgery So I'm going to mark that. Oh, I forgot to put my thingies here. Let me do that. Um, I don't know when I'm supposed to pick her up. I don't have that time. No, I don't have that time. But basically what's going to happen with my work is um, the principal or the admin will just come and check our rooms, make sure everything is set up and ready, and then we're kind of done. So whatever time I'll be able to go and pick up but we are, oh, Chromebook collection here as well. So let me write that down. I mean, that starts at nine. And I'll have to be there to help with that. This, I'm using a Micron pen today. Only because that's what was right here on my desk when I sat down. Um, student Chromebook collection we'll actually do that all day so we'll see how long it's going to take me and then I think that's all I had let me just check my calendar yeah that was all I had set for Thursday which is kind of nice and then uh, da -da -da -da. I think that's it for now let's move on to oh I did forget Thursday's PM routine let me do that real quick I don't know why I just don't do that beginning when I you know when I do my AM routine why not just do my PM routine okay so let me do that and then I'll do the same for Friday because Friday the 28th I I don't have to go to work Okay, but I am still going to mark my AM routine. But I don't have to do that emoka business. But I am going to mark my medicine. Maybe I'll make this my pool day. Wishful thinking sometimes. What am I doing? Oh, my little boxes. Okay, so I'm going to do... Just my medicine in the morning. And let me go ahead and put this one for. Come on. Come on, little guy. These little stickers are so cute. They're little, but it, you could do it with your fingers, but I just prefer to use the tweezers. Okay, so Victoria goes into work at 8 30. no oh that was thursday winnie surgery let me mark this 8 30. victoria's gonna have to take herself to work i just got to see when it when she i have to pick her up 8 30 victoria works friday she also goes in at 8 30. This will be nice because I'm going to be up and awake so I can take her. 8.30, Victoria work. I think she gets out at 4.30, but again, I'm going to leave it until I know for sure. Let me put down my little 
labels here, my to-do. Actually, what should I do? Oh, I know. I can now turn this work section into my Etsy work section. That will be perfect. Okay, and then I don't think I had anything else scheduled for Friday. Pretty easy day. Let's move on. Saturday, Saturday. is also another um, empty pre-planned day. I have nothing on my agenda for Saturday. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Except just Etsy stuff. I'm just going to be working. Oh, Saturday, I do have to prepare my, um, my Instagram takeover. I mark this, but I will, I'll do that when I get to it. Okay, did I write it up there? I did. No, I don't know. So let me just do today, or to do, today, work, and then PM routine, medicine, and then, was that all? I think it was all for Saturday. And then Sunday, let me just do this real quick because again, it's just one thing. Um, Sunday is our friend's birthday. So we are gonna get together. Oh, I forgot to write Victoria work. We are gonna get together and just do like a little uh, park birthday party type of thing. Or no, 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 it's not a park. It's a game night. Oh. I'm getting myself confused. Okay, let me look to see what time that is. So I was right in both situations. It is a game time. So we are playing games. It is in the park and it is at noon. So I'm gonna just mark this with a two hour right there. So 12 p.m. is Fernie's birthday party, birthday party, I'll just write birthday party, and then uh, stickers for AM and PM, now that I'm sitting, like, as I'm sitting here, I'm already thinking of all the, like, the little to-dos, all the main to-dos that I need to do. They start to pile up. But for whatever reason, I can't seem to remember what they are as I'm sitting here planning, like to write them down. Because they're not specific, specific day to-dos. They're like things that just need to get done. So I just need to make like a running a running list, I guess. Okay, so let me write this down. Medicine there, his birthday party there. Victoria is off this day, but I forgot to write it down for Saturday. Victoria work again at 8.30. I love that she goes in at 8.30. I love it because it helps wake me up even though I would love to just sleep in, it gets me going, it gets me started. And we're probably gonna take the dogs to daycare on this day. We shall see. Let me put this stuff back into my planner to do a final flip okay, through. Okay, so here we are with Monday. Here's what Tuesday and Wednesday's pre-plan looks like. Here is Thursday and Friday's pre-plan. And then we've got Saturdays and Sundays. So now I've got to figure out if I'm going to 
keep this page to put the 31 and then continue on with, you know, June. I probably will just to keep it separate. I don't know. I guess I just have to wait and see. Let me see how does July. I mean, well, obviously July is going to start on the 1st. Well, I'll figure things out how I want to do it. But for now, this is where we are. I love, I, I wanted to go with something different for this week as far as colors go. Because I had one already picked out that was like pinks and whatever. Like, no, I need something different. So I went with the blues and the yellows. And uh, it came out so great. This, again, this size planner is like my dream come true. This format, this size, everything, the rings. I just got my um, subscription from Cloth and Paper, so I'm going to kind of start setting things up, putting some stuff here in the pockets, and just getting this baby going. I'm going to take some of these months out just so I can, you know, have it all just as, I don't know, how uh, as awesome as I can make it. So I'm excited about that. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you so much for that. If you have any questions, any suggestions, anything at all, please leave those in the description box down below. If you haven't yet already, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button so you can follow me along on this planning journey of mine. And um, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.